I've prepared a few words actually. Well, you know what I'm like. I'm likely to go on a bit. So I've brought me notes. I still can't read my own handwriting. <laughs> well, I joined the company, or as it was known then, Northumbrian Water Authority in 1978, 35 years ago. Some of you wouldn't have even been born by the looks of you. <laughs> I'm leaving this convocation, this assortment of folks. But the one thing we all have in common that people out there don't understand is when you've been in muck up to here, the smell never leaves you. <laughs> so I've titled this, The Smells I Have Smelled. <laughs> and I won't miss them, I'm telling you. When I was a lad, we used to go fishing around the sea outfalls, the low waters, on the rocks at Whitley Bay. Well, when I say we're called fish, Caught everything else besides. Biggest fight I ever had was with a plastic bag. Now I bet you didn't know plastic bags could swim, did you? <laughs> I've learned a lot on this journey. You really begin to see water as a living thing, don't you? In the river as a friend. Before we came along, the inland waters did their best to clear up our mess. Well, nature has all the things she needs to do the job, but Maybe not as fast as we would like her to. Over the years, we slowed wastewater down through various ways, like putting it in holding tanks so some of the solids can settle out. And then we discovered we could speed things up with biological treatment and take some of the load off the rivers. And here, presto, the fishing improved. From 1990 to 2005, we ploughed millions and millions in submitting the Urban Wastewater Directive to achieve full treatment. If you flew over the Tyne in 2000, you would have seen those dreaded plumes of grey we know as unsatisfactory intermittent discharges. A lot of the outfalls were still unscreened, but in some parts of the network, they had screens to filter out the big bits, and I mean big bits like dead horses, 12 foot long pythons. <laughs> it's true, you know. I was there, and so was Des here. Isn't that right, Des? Well, I'm sure you've heard the story. But someone's pet python got loose in the sewers. Well, got loose in the sewers for a while. Why, well, we should have been paid danger money. And if you hear any stories about red bellied piranhas, that's true too. And I still marvel at the the what's and why's, some people flush away. <laughs> a couple of weeks after we commissioned the new works, the Caravan Park at Haggerston Castle, it was round solid with nappies. <laughs> and wait for it, boxer shorts. Anybody want to smell these? For the past 10 years, my life has been held in. And I think that's a fitting swan song. Where my career has gone from foul to fair. You know the sea you can't change. <laughs> I mean, extra. But now they're talking about polishing effluents, scrubbing odours. It's no longer a life of grey. <laughs> Kim and Nagy would have been proud of us. Let's ponder and see what we've achieved here. Clean water and sanitisation. Well, that's probably doubled our life expectancy. Not just us, the fish as well. And I think that's as significant as finding a cure for cancer. Well, I'm not hanging up my waders just yet. I'm proud to say I think I've earned a good catch of trout from the town over the years. So if you're out walking along with Lee Bay, I hope with Newburn at the break of dawn, and you see a lone fisherman standing there in his flattering green rubber things <laughs> <laughs> and looking as happy as a pig in mud. Well, that'll be me. So come up and say hi. And I'll be thinking of you, smelly lot. 